Hello everybody. So I've decided to start a new project and that is going to be reviewing local fast food establishments here in the Sacramento area. Just for fun. Everybody's got a food review channel it seems these days and so I want mine. And I think I'm going to call it Sam Demands Grub Time. So let's get busy and start reviewing some food, shall we? Now just a quick rundown of how I'd like to structure this channel and of course I'd like to ask for your input as well. If you think I can do something better or change something, I want to know about it. If there's a specific place that you'd like me to review, I want to know about that too. I love to eat. <laughs> I know I'm pretty skinny but trust me, I can put the food away. So one of the first things I wanted to do is get the rating system explained and out of the way. Now, most food review channels rate the food on a scale between 1 to 10. I'd like to do the same thing. 1 being the most disgusting thing you've ever put in your mouth. Like, just something the sight of which or the smell of which makes you want to hurl. Okay? And 10 being the absolute ambrosia of the gods that you've ever tasted. The best thing, bar none, that you've ever put in your mouth. So we're going to rate the food on a scale of 1 to 10 that way. Now, recently, not too far from me, was a burger joint, a privately owned burger joint called Tasty Bites. And they had a, your classic line of burgers, right? A regular burger, a cheeseburger, a bacon cheeseburger, and then the doubles. Now, I've always been partial to the double cheeseburger. It's a classic of theirs, and it's delicious. It was when it was Tasty Bites. Recently, they've changed their name to Texas Chicken, naturally because they've undergone new ownership. But they kept that classic double cheeseburger. So today, we're, that's what we're going to review. <clears throat> so, enough talking. I'm your host, Sam DeMann, and it's grub time. All right, let's see. Here we go. Here's what's, here's what's in the bag. I, I took the napkins out already and the ketchup, you know. I'm not a big fan of ketchup. Ooh, check this out. Look at these fries. Now, oh, these fries are so heavy, the bag that they came in just ripped on me. If I can get them out here and show them to you. Whoa. Look at that. Now these look like uh, some sort of a, uh, a crinkle cut fry. Let's... Mmm. Ooh. Hot. A little bit of salt on them. Okay. Mmm. And they're crunchy, but look at the size of that bag of fries. That's got some heft to it. Now, they didn't used to have the crinkle cut fries. They used to just have regular straight lace fries, but these, mmm. Okay. Those are good. Now, I'm sure they were frozen. And that's to be expected with most places. But they're crunchy on the outside. They have just the right amount of salt on them. They're not overwhelmingly salty at all and they have a nice smooth creamy filling. Now you may like your fries more crunchy, less crunchy, more or less salty, but I'd say those are pretty good. So I'm gonna hold off on giving the fries a rating because the fries aren't really what we're rating here, is it? After all, this show is all about the grub and the real grub is right here. Now this is a great sized burger and it hasn't changed. Uh, it when Tasty Bites had it, it was still this good size right here, and it's got a little weight to it, in fact. So let's go ahead and unwrap it, and see what's inside, and taste it, and we'll uh, <laughs> we'll give it a score between one and ten. Now I don't want to make this channel like every other food review channel, so like I said, I'm going to limit it with the caveat that I get to reserve. Uh, the right to change my mind occasionally and review a fast food chain such as Church's Chicken or Chick-fil-A which is one place I'm interested in reviewing. 
dropped a fry on the floor. <laughs> what do you think? Five second rule? Ah, it's been way longer than five seconds, hasn't it? All right, we'll skip that. Let's go ahead and unwrap this beautiful burger here. I want to show you guys what this looks like. Okay. Hmm. Now it's not all that appealing in this shot, but you can see there's a lot going on here. We've got the bun, and underneath the bun, we've got some sauce here. Looks just like normal ketchup to me. Yep, just ketchup. But a, a nice sesame seed bun, a little bit squished. So let's go ahead and take the burger completely out of the package. And uh, I'm going to set that aside over here. One thing I do need to do is make a little bit more room on my desk to be able to uh, accommodate these food reviews a little bit better. But there we have it, folks. Okay, it's a basic burger. You've got your layer of the pickles and the ketchup right on top there. You can see the cheese there. I'm going to stand up, sort of tilt the burger to give you a better view here. You can see the cheese and the pickles and more importantly the bacon. Now these bits of bacon are kind of thin. I prefer a, a nice thick wide strip of bacon but hey it is what it is and you get what you get. Now you can see there's the second patty and it's got a layer of cheese in between it and then underneath they put a tomato and some lettuce and some more sauce. Let's see what this sauce is. Okay, maybe that's just moisture from the lettuce. Can't quite tell because I don't detect a sauce under there. But let's go ahead and try this bacon. Well, bacon had a little bit of cheese on it. Huh. By itself, the bacon's okay, I guess. But you know, what I'm really curious about is the, the meat patty itself. Now, I'm no expert, but I can usually tell a decent quality meat patty. Now this one feels just a little bit rubbery. Mmm. It's got some chew to it, but it's got a great beef flavor. All right. Enough yakking about the individual ingredients. Let's put this bad boy back together and tuck on in for the taste test. Now, I don't know at what point I'll be ready to review this thing, but let's go ahead and stuff our gob because you know what time it is. It's grub time. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. As you can see, where I ripped the bun up there, and underneath, maybe just because of the heat, we're starting to fall apart a little bit here. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the wrapper. use it to hold everything together here and since that first bite was a little distracting multiple combos of flavors going on I'm going to go ahead and take another bite here mmm Not bad. And of course, when I'm hungry, is probably the best time to do a food review, right? Mmm, and I am hungry. Mm-hmm. The beef patty 
it has some great beef flavor but I suspect maybe they microwaved this and the reason is because of the texture the texture isn't like a beef patty that came straight off the grill it's more like one that's been reheated in a microwave you know how when you reheat a burger and it sort of takes on that rubbery-ish texture well unfortunately that's what we've got so <clears throat> obviously that's not a positive but that's only one element of this burger let's try another couple bites and see what we get all together mm. now the pickles oh the pickles are really good and the ketchup even though I'm not a big fan of ketchup mingles well with the pickles and the cheese and the burger to give it an overall classic bacon cheeseburger flavor so let's dive in for another bite shall we mm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I apologize, folks. Just one more bite. Lemonade here. Sort of wash everything down a little bit. Balance out my palate for the next bite. Mmm. All right, now ready? Here we go. Hmm. Okay. I think I've got enough to know what's going on with this burger from Texas Chicken, formerly known as Tasty Bites. Alrighty everyone, let's go ahead and compare this and talk about what it might be comparable to. Now if you've ever had In-N-Out Burger, which is an exceptionally good burger in my estimation, you might be a little disappointed in this burger. On the other hand, you have to keep in mind that In-N-Out is a very large chain popular all across the United States especially here on the West Coast and I remember when it first came out it was all the rave and rightfully so because In-N-Out Burger put their sandwiches together in such a way and used such good quality ingredients that it just appealed to the masses and the price was right too now the price on this burger with the fries that I showed you earlier as well as however many ounces of lemonade this is came to $8.43 now, let's talk about the burger itself. If you're hungry, and you're not really paying a lot of attention to what kinds of flavors are going on, you may not even notice the quality of the burger. For example, you may not notice that the meat patties uh, have the texture of having been microwaved after having been grilled. Maybe they sat under a heat lamp for a few minutes. Who knows? I didn't watch them in the kitchen. One of these days, I might get a setup where I can actually go in and watch them prepare my burger or whatever other food I decide to review that day. So, together with the, the bacon, which, let's talk about that bacon for a second. Now, I did notice the bacon flavor. 
but it kind of gets lost in with the rest of the flavors. Uh, initially, you can taste it, and you can get that little bit of a crunch and chewy texture from the strip of bacon on top of the patty. But then once you start chewing a few more times, the flavor and the texture of the bacon just gets lost in the meat. Now the cheese. The cheese is pretty good, although I suspect that this burger was done under the microwave after having been grilled for the specific reason that they don't put the cheese on when the burger's on the grill. Now, I don't understand why they don't put the cheese on when the burger's on the grill. I've seen a lot of people do that, and to me, that's how I would do it. But then, I'm not a professional burger maker either, so what do I know? But the cheese was nicely melted, evenly dispersed, and you could get a fair amount of cheese in each bite. Now, when I got to the tomato, the tomato gave it an extra little pop. It was a nice, fresh tomato, I'll give you that. It had plenty of flavor, so that's a plus. Now, it did sort of drown out the, the tanginess of the pickle when I bit into it. So, there is that kind of, um, well, I wouldn't call that a downside. It's just that within the first few bites, I hadn't gotten any tomato yet. All I had was the bacon, cheese, the burger, and the pickles. And then when I got to the tomatoes, it sort of tamed the pickle down a little bit, which is fine. Uh, it still tasted fantastic. Now, of course, I'm going to eat the rest of this thing. You don't think I'm full yet, do you? Not by a long shot. So, overall, I'd say this burger was worth trying at least once. Now, in my experience, Tasty Bites was not entirely consistent from one day to the next or from one burger to the next might be uh, a factor in why they no longer exist or why it was bought out by the new owner who has chosen to name his place Texas Chicken. And just to let you know, in the future, probably next week, I will be going by and reviewing one of their classic chicken dishes. Get some uh, chicken wings or chicken thigh and check out the breading, the seasoning. Maybe we'll try a normal chicken uh, piece or uh, we'll try a spicy chicken piece, or maybe both of them, and kind of compare the two. Now, I don't really have a lot to compare chicken to because uh, chicken's pretty much the same anywhere you go. Am I right? Well, we'll find out next week. But back to this Tasty Bites Classic, which is now under Texas Chicken, I would say that this burger, overall, because of the fact that the meat patties were microwaved, that is going to reduce the score by an entire point. Now if five is average, I would put that, <clears throat> this burger, above average. It's far better than McDonald's. But it's not like a restaurant burger either. Now if you were to compare it to Carl's Jr. or any other fast food chain, I don't think it would be a fair comparison because keep in mind, this is a local fast food establishment and that's what this channel is going to be about reviewing local fast food establishments so on a scale of 1 to 10 I would have to give this burger a 6.5 out of 10 now if they had not nuked the meat patty and put the cheese on there while the patty was still on the grill and then added your bacon pulled it off put it on the bun on a fresher bun I might add that would up the score by at least one and a half points, bringing it up to an eight. But since they didn't do that, and the quality of this burger, while definitely not bad, is certainly not as good as I think they could produce. So let's keep our fingers crossed. Maybe in the future they'll get a little bit better at it with practice. I hope they keep this classic because I really do like it. And if you're hungry and you don't mind an average ordinary burger that'll fill you right up because it is a big burger, then swing on by to Texas Chicken and get the old Tasty Bites Classic Double Cheeseburger. I think you're going to like it. Well, that's it for now, folks. This is Sam the Man, your host, and you've been watching Grub Time. Thanks for tuning in.